Hello and welcome to the second video of the Hyper-V guide. So I'm going to remake the system sysprep um, virtual machine. So new virtual machine, next, specify name, store of different location, VM select and generation one. I'm going to provide 20 64 megabytes and we go to select VLAN and provide 40 gigabytes install later finish right now settings I'm going to provide four processors um, and the boot drive, image file, browse, see it with the server, with the server plan. And this one uh, is important. Uh, click off enable checkpoint supply. Okay, and then you start. Connect, start the computer. Okay, so the new sysprep. Uh, virtual machine has started. Uh, so, close this. And um, now we're going to run. Right click, run. Just type in sysprep. And double click on sysprep. Uh, generalize, shut down, and hit OK. Okay, so we are going to um, make the sysprep virtual machine uh, an unattended install. So we don't need to type in the location or password, password or anything like that. It's, it will be already prepared when we uh, copy the, uh, the hard drive of the virtual machine and use it as a template for the other ones. Um, so the fir first thing we need to do is to download um, Windows RD Core, AD, Windows ADK, download and install, pick the top one, download Windows ADK for Windows 10, save, run it. Uh, I already installed it, but it's going to show you this is one you need deployment tools. Um, this will make it so you're able to mount um, the Windows image files. Um, so, the first thing we need to do is to open uh, with the server. Um, Windows Server ISO file, go to Sources, and then look for Install, copy the install, um, Windows Server, and then paste it in this folder, or whatever folder you want. Uh, I've already done this. Next, next thing we need to do is to open System, uh, sorry, Windows System Image Manager. This is the app that was installed with the ADK software we did, downloaded earlier. Uh, now we need to open or rather select window in Windows image. Select install.wim. Open and choose standard, not core, standard. OK. Expand components. New answer file, and I'm just going to open my sheet here. Okay, <coughs> so the first thing is Windows Shell setup. Uh, Windows Shell setup. Add pass four. Next is Microsoft Windows International Core. Uh, let's just expand this a little bit. Microsoft International Core. Uh, to pass 
seven. Next is the shell setup again. Uh, shell setup, expand, pick. Uh, OOBE has seven. And next uh, user counts expand and add administrate password. Okay. And the values. The only thing here is to put in time zone. Um, I'm just going to use Eastern Standard Time. Okay, uh, right. Next one is uh, input language. Uh, it's EMUS. You can actually look up what language you, you are using, but, or rather, what codes for the language you are using. Next is uh, OBE, and we're going to hide to true uh, and registration to two, true. Uh, uh, hide all my screens to true. Hide wireless to uh, Yeah, that's it. Finally, use your account, administer the password. And I'm gonna pick a very easy password here, but you should probably pick a better one. Okay, so we're done with this. It's gonna run the validate answer, answer file. There is no error over here. So now we're gonna save it, save answer, answer file, and then call it unattended. Unattend, save, uh, and we are down here. Close it. Open. I save it to documents. Uh, we're gonna copy the file, and then we're gonna go to your virtual machine, system prep, hard disk drive, mount it. Uh, and then Windows for Panther and paste it to the Panther folder. Okay, so let's try it to see if it, if it works. Connect. Start. Oh, um, I forgot to uh, dismount the uh, hard drive. Yet. Let's try it again. Connect. Start. I haven't removed the boot as the DVD. Hello? It's, it's installed. We can log in. Password we put it in the unattended file. Okay, so we finished starting up the uh, virtual machine and it, seem, it uh, seems to be working. Um, the password and location are all uh, set automatically with the unattended file. Um, we can use this template to install several virtual machines in Hyper V. Uh, and we don't need to uh, type in a password because it would be the same with all the machines. Uh, so it would be easier to install several servers at the same time. Please give a like and uh, stay tuned for more content.